hello everyone this video will be it's a little bit long because i'm going to show you so many steps that how can you uh, run a laravel project on uh, a, in a docker and store this docker image to the ecr and uh, pull that image from ecr in a easy to instance right so uh, this is a long process a little bit long process and uh, please ignore the background noise okay okay let's start so as you can see this is a repo called php docker and uh, this is just a basic laravel uh, application nothing uh, you know that's that's a normal uh, laravel project okay so first you need to create two file one is bitbucket file like yml and docker file and a dot env file you know for the database connectivity you need to configure dot env file okay up and now first create a uh, bitbucket repository go to repository setting and uh, here you can find repository variables and go to setting because if you don't enable the pipeline you cannot set the variable here so uh, you should first enable the pipeline setup and then you can set a uh, repository variables and uh, variable now add the access key secret key and the repository name okay all the variable as you can see i set some variable and the variable value so what it is ecs prefix is a ecr name okay so what is ecr name mean here as if you open ecr or uh, maybe like elastic container registry okay so as you can see i create a repository also you can create a new repository for your project and type a name of your repository okay and create repository that's it that's how you can create a repository here so this is my repository docker laravel so what i just did here uh, set the same uh, variable on your bitbucket account and the value will be your repository name like docker laravel and aws default region us west 2 yes as you can see here okay so remember don't need to change this uh, variable name okay it should be same as i you know wrote it down here it should be same but value might be changed you should change the value nothing else okay so you need three uh, five variables ecs prefix aws default region aws registry url access key id secret key okay so that's it after that uh, create a docker file docker file okay here's the docker file so i am using php 7.4 so it's pulling a php 7.4 image from a docker hub now it's running some command like apt get update so container will be update minus y for es and the second command is f8 install openssl zip and unzip git and you can install other you know packages if you want to install any others packages in your container so you can do that here next step is run apt get install uh, loading dev this is a uh, another package i can i can do that just copy this package and paste it over here and remove this line i can do that but you know <laughs> i don't know what i did what why i did that 
and uh, next line is uh, run curl so in this line installing uh, downloading the composer installer and this is this line for you know if you want to enable uh, some uh, extension on your php so you can do here so like i enable pdu extension a misting extension mysql i extension pdu underscore mysql extension so these are extension if you want to enable any extension you just put here you can put here okay that's it and now work directory is app so it will create an app folder into uh, inside your container and uh, copy the whole file of your laravel project and paste inside this app folder and it will run one more command which is composer install after composer will install you will learn another command which is php artisan serve host uh, 000 and for 3000 and expose 3000 so host 000 i uh, mean you can use uh, externally as i saw you I, as you can see my previous video how can you uh, run laravel in a docker so um, that's it docker file here and uh, another thing is bitbucket yml file here bitbucket pipeline.yml file so same thing spooling a php 7.4 from the docker hub and if you working on some another uh, branch so just put the branch name here and app get same thing install zip unzip composer installer downloading composer installing so this is just a build test okay after that uh, okay you don't have to change anything here after that it will uh, yes this is a bill id and image name okay just just uh, copy this code i will uh, share this code you can find this code uh, from uh, video description down there okay i will share my google drive link so let's just, just can copy and paste this uh, bitbucket pipeline yml file and that's it uh, another thing is you need to uh, set up so i think the bitbucket part is done okay yes now go to ec2 okay as you can see i just created one uh, demo ec2 here and uh, if you want to log in you know how to log in this ec2 instance so just logged in as you can see i already logged in let's clear this out okay now i'm in root okay so first thing first you need to install uh, docker okay so just type yum install docker minus y okay and install a uh, jq okay minus y and uh, what you need to do okay that's it and now uh, configure the aws cli aws configure okay so i've already set up everything so as you can see my access key cigarette key my region name default region name and output format is json so everything is set so we have to set uh, your credential here and if i ls here you can see three file one is images tag list and update now what is happening here so what's happening here so docker file creating a, a docker image and bitbucket pipeline yml file pushing this uh, image 
to the ECR and here on the EC2 I wrote it a cell script which uh, this script will pull the image from the ECR to this EC2 instance and run the container okay um, now I already show you that how you can push your docker image to ECR and now you have to pull the image from the ECR to your EC2 instance so you can uh, write your own script okay um, but I wrote my script here so I can show you the what I did here uh, vim and update so as you can see it's just a normal cell script uh, and uh, all the description is with all the command details is here uh, installing AWS CLI first configure the AWS CLI access can see key as I saw, uh, show you earlier and uh, before run this script please create two files images and tag list okay old tag docker what is this line mean that first it will check that uh, what images you already running I mean the current images in your EC2 instance okay if you running uh, images number 20 then it will look for 21 or 22 the upper uh, image like 24 or 25 and if there is uh, uh, no new images then it will not it, it will not pull any updated image it will still the same if it's found some new images then it will pull from the ECR so this is the basic concept here first it will uh, you know the scan uh, filter the images or images from the city instance and then discard the images uh, docker images here and uh, jquery you also filter this thing like this but uh, in this script you need to change only this part okay this part this is uh no in this script you need to change this one this is a login what is login uh, let me show you first uh, go to ecr okay this opening Laravel view push command this copy this one and uh, just replace this line okay copy from here and replace this line next is docker rmi minus a so here you need to replace this part only okay so replace to this one like open your ecr and go to the view push command and copy uh, this line just up to this one copy it and remove this line and paste it over this part only not the whole line and the full line only this part same here only replace this part same here too only replace this one okay that's it but uh, before run this script you need to pull manually so how do you pull manually i mean before run the script you just run this command sorry just run this command okay for the first time maybe this command will not run for this you need to run this command for login okay just copy it paste it over here see 
loving success and and then you can run use like this copy paste colon uh, like your updated image like here the updated image is 20 I mean image tag is 20 so set the tag here 20 and the enter so it's already there so image is this is saying image is up to that so it did not pull um, okay so first manually you need to pull uh, the image from the issuer then you can run the script okay and another thing is you can uh, set this script uh, in a contact so whenever you uh, you know commit in your bit bucket it will automatic pull the image from your ECR and update the container so like you know, I set the contact here cron tab minus e see star 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 this is a cell script and the path just go to the pipeline option and you can see this kind of screen that's mean it's already uh, build and test already done now we need to deploy just click on deploy and you can see the latest comment uh, latest commit and so just click on deploy so it will automatically uh, push the image to the ECR and my script will do the rest of the thing so thank you guys thank you for watching bye